What is up, beach bums? I'm going to be talking about gear in this video. I get this question a lot, and I've done a gear video in the past, but of course, that changes. It's an ever-changing, ever-evolving thing. It's a, like a living, breathing thing, the gear that you're constantly using. Uh, it's just always changing. So I figured I'd update that and kind of go over what I'm using now, what I like, what I don't like, what I wish I had, you know, all that kind of stuff. Uh, I did have a fishing video that I was going to be uploading this week, but long story, I, uh, I'll try to make it short here, is I am getting a new computer. I'm getting a Mac because the computer that I have been using, it's a Surface Pro, which is awesome. It actually works really good for editing. It's got the solid state drive, but it has a detachable keyboard, and that keyboard has pooped out on me, and I can't use the keyboard. And so I was trying to edit a video and I fat fingered some things and I actually deleted all of the files. So I, I don't have that fishing video. <laughs> I lost it. I was actually fishing with uh, Taylor Littlefield. Littlefield, I always mess up his name. Little, I, want, I always want to say Little Fo Ford, Little Ford, but uh, it's Little Field <laughs> with Pure Living for Outdoors. I'll post a link to his channel and to the video that he made in the description and also in a video card check that out I uh, wish I could uh, post that video but I kind of screwed that up so anyway I'll be back and rolling here soon the uh, the Mac that I ordered is uh, like a refurbished Mac computer it's on its way so I'll be rocking and rolling hopefully with that if I can figure out how to use a Mac computer I've never used that before but I'm excited about it something new something cool supposedly good for editing we'll see uh, but let's talk about some gear let's get right into it I, I'm gonna show you my surf fishing rods uh, and I'm gonna show you a couple casting rods but I, uh, of course, use a lot of light tackle stuff. We're going to go over that too, so let's get to it. First one on the list, this is this Star Aerial 10-foot surf fishing rod. I've got this paired with a 5,000 size pin battle too. Uh, the line that I've got on this is 20-pound Power Pro Super Slick Braid, which that's mostly what I have on all of my setups. Uh, this thing casts fantastic, really can get it out there. Uh, the, the balance on this is pretty good uh, with this size reel. Um, it really feels good. So um, if, if you're looking for just kind of like you're all around, gonna get it done around this area, you know, in different parts of the world, country, wherever you may be, this may not fit. You know, depending on how far you need to cast, where you're casting, this may not be for you. But for our area, like if you're just looking to get a good, solid, gonna hold up well, go with this. Uh, you know, this rod is 100, depending on where you get it from, I think it's like 120, 130 bucks. Uh, these reels, I think are like 110. And then of course the line on here, I probably really spent 30, 40 bucks getting it loaded uh, with the line on here. So uh, you add all that up, you know, where I, I'm not doing math real well in my head this morning, but you're looking at about 250 bucks, uh, somewhere, you know, close to $300, uh, depending on what you kind of do with it. But uh, Love this setup. Uh, I've used two of them. I broke one if you saw a video recently and I actually replaced it with another rod that I'm about to show you coming up next. This is the H2O Express Academy rod. I've talked about these rods a lot. Uh, it's also 10 foot medium action. For the money, you cannot beat it. If you're trying to get into surf fishing, if you're new to surf fishing, this, I would say, is the rod to get. Um, they're hard to come by if you go in the store. You're probably gonna have to order it. <laughs> they stay pretty much sold out of them here. But really good rod. This is the graphite rod. They have some other ones, uh, as, uh, like fiberglass or whatever. But this, this is the graphite, and it's got it's got the cork, you know, wrap handle on it. Uh, I've also got this paired with a 5,000 pin battle too. Same line on this. This is the Power Pro Super Slick. But I believe this rod's 50 bucks. For a $50 rod, you really cannot beat it. Um, I, I like it in a lot of ways, very similar to my star rod, which is you know over twice the price. And it really com competes extremely well with that star rod. Feels just about the same. Uh, they hold up just about the same. I've, I've actually had some of these longer than the star rods that held up a little bit better. So I uh, highly recommend this rod if you, can, if you need to get started in surf fishing, even if you've been doing it for a while and you need some new gear really great rod to go with. A subscriber sent this one to me. This is from Bass Pro. This is an offshore angler breakwater rod. This is also a 10 foot rod. 
and this is, uh, which I didn't go over this on the other ones, I think lure weight on the last two were two to five ounces. Uh, this one is one to five ounces, uh, but they're all medium action, and I, what I like about this, a point on this rod, uh, and I've got this paired with a 5500 Spin Fisher 5. So this is the la the previous generation. They just came out with the six, uh, which I, this this reel right here. Uh, this is the only one I have of this uh, line of reels is phenomenal. The drag is super smooth. It the the reeling is super smooth. Um, it, it's handled some super big fish. Love 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 this reel. I'm probably going to begin the process of transitioning into pretty much using all of these reels, not the five, but the six. You know, go ahead and step up to the sixes since that's what's out now. I uh, just really love the drag, really love the smoothness, and just really love the capability of this reel. And, and, and the fact that it's fully sealed, uh, you know, really holds up well with the salt water and the sand. Uh, but this rod is, is, is a really solid rod, and what I really like about this is it doesn't have the cork. It's actually got the shrink wrap on here, which for the way that I utilize my gear, putting the rods and the rod holder in the back, and then also using rod holders on the beach, the sand spikes, this tends to hold up a lot better than the cork. So I like that. Uh, but the, this rod has a lot of backbone. Um, I can actually cast this one personally a little bit further because you can, it just, the, the feel of it's a little bit different. Uh, the backbone's a little bit different. It's a little bit stiffer rod than the previous two that I just went over. But really like this rod, really solid. And I believe if you were to go buy this one new, I think it's 60 or $70, so maybe a little bit higher than that H2O Express. Uh, but really a really good choice can't 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 go wrong I mean I, I, I use it every day can't go wrong with this and I think it's gonna hold up a little bit better just because of the materials that are used on this rod something that I just recently got that I have fallen in love with a subscriber sent this to me uh, he's got his own tackle company small company that's just starting up he's designed a surf rod he had been reaching out to me for a while wanted to send me one he did i just recently started using it and it has taken the top spot as far as what my favorite surf rod is um this is by ninja tackle uh matt pool is uh the the designer owner of that uh, and they've named this the dagger and this is an 11 foot surf rod and it is super thin super light and I love it. I mean, and it, it's it, I can cast this further than anything else I have. You know, pr probably partially due to the fact that it's an 11 foot rod, but it feels fantastic. It does not feel cumbersome at all because it is super duper light. I love it. Like I'm I'm in love with this rod. It looks super cool. Like it's super thin, just super sleek. You know, I paired it uh, with a super light reel. This is the uh, Pissafun. I did a review on this on this reel a while back this is the pissafun carbon x which is also it's a 4000 size reel but it's also super light and i've got the uh, 20 pound super slick power pro on it as well and oh my gosh this setup right here is freaking awesome uh it's so cool i think i think this rod if you were to buy it new it's, it's a really nice rod i think it's like 169 dollars i believe is what he told me but uh i'm in love with it like I've been using it on trips uh, the last couple weeks, and it's just it's performed phenomenally. Uh, I if, I think I can post a link. I think the, I think you can buy these. Highly, highly, highly recommend it. Of course, a lot more expensive than everything else. Well, not a lot more, but it's more expensive than the other ones that I've shown you. But if you're looking to get something really, really cool, really, really, you know, they can really cast, really give you a lot of options. But the action on it is still like super light, so I mean you can really still feel those fish that you're fighting coming in, but you can really put a lot of pressure. I've already caught a huge stingray on this, big black drum, handled them fine. I was able to really put a lot of pressure on them more than I thought I was gonna be able to. Did not feel maxed out, love it. That's my big surf setups. That's what I use primarily for pompano fishing, for casting far if I've gotta get out into deeper water or, or on the backside of a bar. But when I'm fishing close, when I'm focusing in on whiting, slot redfish, puppy drum, or when I'm fishing an area where pompano are running a little bit closer in and the conditions are conducive for using these, if it's calm enough, I like to use steelhead rods, which is just a style of rod. Uh, it's actually used for a lot of trout fishing, uh, salmon fishing, 
that's just the style of rod. There's a lot of brands that make steelhead rods, but I like to use these in the surf because you still have a lot of length. Uh, but the action on it is really, really light. It's a lot of fun. If you haven't used these types of rods for catching whiting, you're missing out. <laughs> whiting fishing is a lot of fun with these. But the first one that I've got, this is a star aerial. And this is the nine and a half foot uh, star aerial steelhead rod. I believe the lure weight on this is eight, let's see, oh, sorry, is one and a quarter to three quarter ounce. So really light. Um, I believe it's a medium action rod. I've got this paired with the Pin Pursuit 3 uh, 2500 and I've got this spool with 10 pound Power Pro braid. So this is just the regular Power Pro stuff. This is not the super slick. Uh, but really a lot of fun. I can still cast it pretty far. Typically I'm going to put like a one ounce pyramid sinker on this with just a, like a one drop lighter Pompano rig for those widening. And I'm fishing this close. I'm not usually throwing it out too far. But man, for light tackle surf fishing, really awesome setup. Next steelhead rod, this is also a star aerial, but this is the eight and a half foot. So it's a, it's a foot shorter. Um, still can cast it pretty far, but you're gonna lose a little bit of distance on that. Uh, I, I just I bought these off of a friend. I got both of these from him. And then I've got a 3000 size. I'd like to go down smaller, but it's just what I had. I try to use the gear that I have and I just haven't replaced this reel, but I'd like to go down to like a 2000 or 2500 size reel. But I've got a 3000 size Pin Pursuit 2. Uh, this is the second generation reel on this, uh, but you could definitely go lighter than that if you'd like. Uh, but very similar, obviously, same style rod, just a foot, foot shorter, uh, but again, for whiting fishing, perfect. But both of those rods, the Star Aerials, I, I believe those are like right at 100 bucks. If you were to buy them brand new, they are like $99. Uh, I do have, this is something that I got from Dix, which I know Many of you are against shopping at Dick's, uh, but I got this a while back, <laughs> and uh, I think this is their brand. I mean, it's Eagle Claw, but it's the Wrights McGill. I don't really know if you can get this anywhere. It's kind of like Academy with H2 Express. I don't know that you can get this anywhere other than Dick's, uh, but I really, re this is my favorite steelhead rod. I actually like this better than the Stars, and this one, I believe, is 59 bucks, so it's $60, and I, it's, it's a really awesome rod. It's nine foot. Um, the lure weight is three three eighths to three uh, quarter of an ounce, and I'm just reading it off of there. But I'm, it's it's solid. It's a medium action as well, which is uh, those are medium action also. But uh, or let's see, style says medium uh, medium drifter. I don't know what that means, but it's a, it's a medium action rod. And it, it's a little bit stiffer, but it still, like I can, I can put a little bit more pressure on fish if I need to, if we do happen to hook into those bigger fish. But it still really gives me, I can cast this further than those as well. I think just because of the stiffer action on it. Uh, but it still is really, it's still light enough that you can really feel those fish. So, I mean, it'll, it, a small whiting will still really bend this rod over. It looks awesome and it feels great. So it, it's really become my favorite steelhead rod. And I've got this paired with a 2000 size pin battle too. So, and this is 10 pound uh, Power Pro braid on here as well. This is my ideal st uh, steelhead setup. So like if I were to only, if I were to replace all of them and have three of the same thing, this is the setup I would go with. I would go with this Wrights McGill with the 2000 size pin battle two with the 10, 10 pound braid. Perfect, perfect setup. Can cast great. I can get far still if I need to. Uh, I can put a lot of pressure on fish that if we do hook into those bigger fish if I need to and also I still feel the smaller fish just all around great light surf setup. Whew, it is hot out here today. I have to do this outside for lighting and for space. I think the heat index today is like 105. It's not quite there yet but it's, it's getting hot. If I could use steelhead rods every day I would but obviously conditions sometimes don't allow us to do, to do that. If it's too rough or if I need to get further out, I've got to use the heavier setup. So we use the heavier setups, not because of the fish, but because of conditions. So I, I would love to use the light stuff. We can still catch big fish on those things. We've caught a lot of bit. We've got 25 pound black drum on those, on those steelhead setups. So it's not the fish, it's the conditions that we have to be prepared for. But if we can go light, I will, I love it. It's a lot of fun for my, my clients. It's a lot of fun for me and I would use it every day if I could, but you just can't. So finally on our casting setups, I'm gonna go over three of these. 
I've got, this is the a one that I use a lot. You've probably seen this in a lot of videos. Uh, this is the Daiwa Laguna 6'6 six six rod. This is actually a bass rod. I've broken two of these. Um, so that they, they do break, uh, but they are really good rods. They're only, they're only 30 bucks, uh, but they feel great. Really good rod. Uh, I've got this paired with the uh, the Pissifun Viper 2 reel, which um, I believe I did a review on this one as well. It's held up great. A lot of people in the comments were like, hey, that's not going to hold up in salt water. It is a cheap reel. I think it's like 30 bucks if you were to buy it. Uh, it doesn't have a lot of the nicer components that you're going to get on the pin reels, but I've used it a lot. You've seen it. In, if you keep up with me, you've seen it in quite a few videos where I'm throwing lures or if I'm throwing a Carolina rig or something of such and I'm using it in salt water, the thing is held up fine. I've just sprayed it off every time and it still is extremely smooth and, and works great. So for an inexpensive reel, I still stand behind it. It's really great, I use it all the time. I do actually have a bass lure tied onto this because uh, one of my recent video, or last videos that I tried to film, I was gonna throw some top water. So I was gonna use this for that, but um, I, I love it. Really light, this, this, this total, I mean, this is super light. You can throw this a lot, which is important. Uh, last time I went fishing, I used one of my heavier setups, which I'm going to show you here in a second, and it, and it will fatigue you. You know, I fish every day and I still get fatigued if I'm throwing a heavier setup. So, really like the light setup. You can use this for surf casting, uh, especially on a calm day for throwing topwater lures, for throwing pompano jigs, whatever. I mean, you don't have to have big heavy surf tackle. You can use bass gear because that's basically what this is in the surf when you're throwing lures and artificials and even throwing Carolina rigs up close for your whiting, redfish, and and things like that using using a piece of shrimp. A subscriber sent this to me as well. This is a seven and a half foot St. Croix rod. So this is a nice rod. I don't I don't know how much these are. I did not I did not purchase this. So but it's a really nice rod. Like it's super awesome. It's got a lot of it's got a great backbone to it. Uh, you can cast it really far that seven and a half foot uh, really gives you some some solid distance. I was using this in my last video that I posted uh, I, I was throwing this diamond jig, which you can really fling this thing uh, with some braid. I've got this paired. He sent this to me as well. This is a the Shimano Sedona, uh, which is the this is the only reel that uh, is, is not pinned. Of course, I do have a couple pieces of funds that were sent to me, but this is the only Shimano reel that I've ever had any experience with, and I believe it is their their lower end, which is similar to like maybe the. Uh, Pursued or the Fierce series in the pins, but really solid reel. I really like it. I use I've used it a lot. You've probably seen this one in some videos as well, and and I really do enjoy using this reel. Super smooth drag. Uh, the the it, I, this has been used like he sent it to me, and you could tell it's got some some things that are beat up about it, uh, but still really super smooth, super awesome reel. I love it. I like using it would recommend it but i'm just a pin guy i just prefer pin I, I, i'm familiar with their stuff and i just really like it but if i were to branch out some I, I would definitely recommend this reel so wrapping this up if i had to pick in each category what my favorite setup would be like if i had to duplicate and have all of the same thing in each category this is what i would choose for the long surf rods for my bigger setups i would go with the ninja tackle dagger and i would also pair that with probably a four, I don't even have one of these, but I would probably pair that with a 4500 Spin Fisher 6. It, I really like the Spin Fishers, uh, so I'd probably get like three or four of those identical setups. I really like those 11 foot rods. I've always been a 10 foot guy, but using that 11 foot, I've just fallen in love with it. So it's, it's really become my favorite. I can really get far out there if I need to, but the action on it feels great. So that would be my number one pick for rod and reel setup. And of course you're gonna spend some money with that because that's $160 for the rod. I think those reels are like 150, 160, maybe even a little bit more than that. So you're gonna spend over $300 for that setup, but it would be really sweet. For my steelhead setup, so for the lighter surf tackle, I would go with the Wrights McGill, which is a $60, $70 rod with, I really like that pin battle too. So like that is my ideal setup for for the steelhead rod. So and you can get that at Dick's, uh, again, 60, 70 bucks for that. And of course the pin battle twos, that, si that 2000 size, I think is like right at hundred bucks or 110, somewhere in there. So you're, you're looking at 150, 160 bucks for that setup. And then for the inshore setup, uh, for me personally, you know, I, I talked about the pin pursuit for the reel on this, but I would go with the Sea Striker Contour seven foot rod. And I'd probably pair that with a, like a 3000 size 
pin battle too. And I'd go down a size just just for weight purposes. I mean, you don't have to have a 4,000. You could even stick a 2,000 on there, 2,500 if you wanted to. But I would probably pair that with a 3,000 size reel, which is is the setup that I did have on there. But if you've seen one of my other videos, I actually threw that on the ground and, and I broke my 3,000 size pin battle too. So that is what I used to have on that rod. So that would be my ideal inshore setup would be a 3,000 size reel. I would probably go with a pin battle too with a C-Striker Contour seven foot rod. Hope this information helps. So many people ask me these questions. It's an ever evolving, ever changing thing. My opinions on what I like and what I don't like will change. Uh, this will be different next year. So this information will be outdated. But as of 2019, and what, what are we? We're like June 18th, 19th, somewhere in there of 2019. That is my preference. That's what I would recommend. That's what I like. That's what I'm using. Guys, I hope this helps. And as always, you stay bummy.